Okay, here it is Christmas time, and I'm going to make a th uh, get well card. <laughs> so, what I'm going to be using is to this back on your feet. I just love this little turtle, and I hadn't used my little turtle yet. And when I seen this little turtle, I thought, oh, spinner card for sure. With a little sentiment that says, hope you're back on your feet soon. I mean, how could you resist a spinner card on that one? So that's what I'm, I made a female version of it earlier, and it's, it's pretty cute. But this time I'm going to make a male, male version of it. And I decided to go ahead and line my paper all the way across the top this time. And to put my words across here like I did and do the punching like I did here. But uh, this was kind of my my little um, trial and error type thing. I take a piece of, uh, let me put the other light on. I did take a piece of the soft suede that's five and a half by eight and a half and scored it on the long side of four and a quarter to make my card. Go ahead and make sure it's even and then uh, use your wrong folder to score it. Then I have a piece of crumb cake that is uh, four by five and a quarter. That's the next mat. And this one is the opposite of the flower thing. I'll look it up and post it on the bottom, but it has the wood on the other. It's the same as this one, as you can see. And it is, it should be written on here, five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And that's my next mat. And I'm going to go ahead and start by gluing those two together. As even as possible. Which is not always even. <laughs> okay. And I thought I'd, out of the very vanilla, I ca uh, I'll cut the ouch out again. They have a little sentiment in here that says ouch, and I thought it was so cute. And pretty appropriate for somebody that's in the hospital. But it wasn't big enough, so I thought, well, might as well use my hand-lettered pros dies to make the ouch. And I wanted it to show up well, but I did, I wanted the little turtle to be more colorful. So I'm going to cut this out of the ouch. My little scrap was four by two that I used for this. Okay, I think before I glue this on though, I'm going to go ahead and cut the little channel for the spinner to work in. Now, that, I think this is an exclamation mark. If not, it's going to be my exclamation mark. Okay, I'm going to use this uh, classic label punch to do the, the channel that the coin rows in. Use two pennies to make this. And I'm setting it all the way to the all the way to the end and all the way to the end here. And I'm gonna punch. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna set it all the way as far as I can and all the way to the end. Punch again. Then I'll just meet those two together by going all the way. Okay. Now I can go ahead and set my ouch. Oh, you C H. Okay, yeah, that shows up nice. The other one, I ran it through a folder, but I think that looks pretty nice the way it is, so I'm going to leave that one be. And then take a penny, put it underneath, 
this. I take a mini dimensional. This little dimensional will stick real well. I try the larger one. I even cut the little ends of it off, but this seemed to be a little tight for this channel. The small one worked better. And when I was pulling it off to go from one to the other, it did stick real well, so. Now this one isn't sticking. Now what's up with that? Maybe it's the pins on the coin because the coin was, was very new. Let's try the newer coin. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't know. Maybe not. Let's try another one. Try some newer coins. Maybe a little alcohol wouldn't hurt to do that before you did it. Let me try it with this. People get a lot of oil and stuff on their hands. Yeah, that one worked good. Probably the older the coin, the more the oil collects on there. Okay, yeah, that one seemed to work well. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this clone strip across the back. I'm going to give this enough room to go around here. Should be about right. Put a little bit in the middle. A little bit on this end. See on the edges. About a quarter of an inch, half an inch away from the more like a quarter would probably be the best. A quarter inch from this edge. side too. A little extra, might as well just put him right there too. Okay. And this is the last one. Put the other one back. I'll take off the backing of those. I'm going to stand up and send this over the top. Okay, now I'm going to color my little turtle. I believe I done stamped him. Yeah, I stamped him on some uh, that heavy or thick, whatever they call it, uh, cardstock. And uh, this white, and I've got some of the granny apple greens, light and dark, and I also got the bronze, yeah, the bronze and the ivy. I'm gonna go ahead and paint, paint the little turtle in ivy like he's a people. See, they already have the little sketch lines around here, so it's very easy to color. You really don't have to do any more than that to be cute. Okay, the brown. Where do I want to put the brown? I think I'm going to use the brown along in here, This, which is the, really the bronze. It's a nice color. Not too dark, not too light. Okay, I don't know if that's a piece of that or what, but okay, and I'll go ahead and continue the bronze here in spots. Okay, 
Okay. I guess he should have a light green belly and the dark green shell on the bottom. I figure most people, when they're in the hospital and they're sick, they feel kind of green. So I thought this would be the right color. And everything I seem to make, I always have to fussy cut it. I never just seem to get the ones with the dies. Oh well. Okay, now I'm going to use a little glue dot to put him on there. coin here. I'll put him in the middle of the coin. And come on little bugger row. Yeah he rolls. Okay now I'm going to use some very vanilla on the inside and I'll cut it at five and a quarter. Five and a quarter by four. So it'll fit right there in the middle there. And then I'm going to use that cute little stamp. And I guess I'll need to cut him, do him in the granny apple green. The stamp, granny apple green. Now this lemon. There's granny apple. And if I was to do, and I am going to do, I'm going to do a, I do a little um, envelope and make it out of the granny apple green as well. Okay. And glue it. It's on. And if you go to my description on the bottom. I'll put a link on on YouTube. I'll put a link uh, how you can go to the the video that where I show you how to make a make an envelope. But I'll post a picture of the completed envelope with the card in this video right here couple extra things while I was making the envelope for this on the video below it uh, that I've have linked to it's talked about making the template out of a uh, chipboard but instead for this one since it was wider than that I went ahead and made it out of foam board so it's made the same way the same size out of foam board so go ahead and follow that and also to balance out the design of this, I thought it would be cute to put a strip here. And I thought, well, why not go ahead and continue with the ouch? And so I just put the ouch on the end of this little thin block and just measured it apart by the end of the block. It wasn't quite straight. It's not a big deal. I don't think anything on this card is really straight. So, But if you want yours perfectly straight, you might can try doing it with the Stamparatus. But anyway, this is a half inch uh, by whatever length that was. This one was, let me see, it's five, five, half inch by five inch strip along this 
top of that. And I think I'm going to actually put a piece of white strip along the, this one and so do the same thing in the um, blushing bride and make a blushing bride envelope for him or her. See, I think that's cute. And then I'll do the blushing bride for her and then put a like a, a, the white strip, whisper white strip across here and put ouch, ouch, ouch in the blushing bride. So that's my little add to it. Sorry, just thought I'd add that to you. Bye-bye. Did it, did it, did it.